Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of Graph TV. Tonight, we have an exclusive interview with a Los Angeles graffiti legend, a notorious street killer and king of the wild style, a writer with over 25 years in the game, a Los Angeles original that needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Mid-City King, the one and only Clean LTS. <laughs> yeah, man, it's great to have you in the studio. How are you doing today? Great, man, great, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Bro, thank you for granting us your first ever interview. It's an honor. Now, I'd like to get started with your origins, like the X-Men. Where are your parents from? From Guatemala, bro. So I'm like, you know, Guatemalan, Costa Rican, and Jamaican. And Jamaican? Yeah. Can you tell us about your family history? Where does Jamaica come from? Uh, well, grandma, I mean, my mom's dad, you know. Uh, never met the dude. My mom never met the dude either. Grandma was kind of crazy when she was young. Where grandma, were you born? In Guatemala. You were born in Guatemala? Yeah. How old were you when you came to the United uh, States? Three years old. How do you get here? Do you know? Do you remember? I don't know, bro. Across the border, bro, through a little car. I looked like a little white boy when I was right. Do so, you come to the United States with your mom and dad, uh, brothers and sisters, just you and your mom? Uh, the family came, you know, everybody. Like, my mom came first. She left me over there. Uh, then Pops fucking sold everything, and he came back. He came over here, and then they brought me over here. What so was all my like family kind of, like, once more, like, one of my tias came, and then they, were just, they were just kept on going, you know. Until what I, was I'm it like on. when your mom left to the United I States? I don't remember, bro. I was so young. I don't remember. I was three years old, two years old. What part of Los Angeles? Do you move to Los Angeles from Guatemala, or where do you live? Yeah, land? straight to Mid-City, man. Um, what was it like growing up in Mid-City for you? Can you describe the area where you grew up in, and how was it? Well, the area I grew up in was kind of wild, because, you know, the 80s, you know, there was a lot of gangster shit, you know what I mean? And, like, there was three gangs in the neighborhood that I was, where I used to live. I was, I was based on, like, Crenshaw and Adams District. And like there was fucking MS on one block, the Bloods on another block, and then the Easy Riders on another block. When within two blocks, there was like three gangs, man. How do you manage to stay away from gang life? Do um, you? Well, do you dabble? They it? tried to get me in the, into Easy Riders and shit like that. Cause they were like right there. I see them every day, but like I just saw fools get killed, and like um, I never really want to get into that. I was still kind of young, you know what I mean? So like. I didn't want to fuck with that, man, you know what I mean? And then I just started getting into to graph, man, you know, like I started tagging maybe when I was like fifth grade or something like that, man. Before like graffiti, before graffiti, what kind of hobbies did you have? What were you, were you into sports? Were you into art? What were you into before graffiti? Uh, like bike riding, man. I used to do that game, my, D, uh, my BMX, man, and like just ride, man, you know? I was just, I never really like skated, you know? But I like biking, man, you know? Growing up, were you more of a shy kid, a troublemaker? Um, what kind of trouble were you getting into? I was, into? well, yeah, you know, I was really, I was, I was being a badass kid, man, you know what I mean? So, like, um, try to stay away from trouble as much as I can, you know what I mean? But it's always been, because of the way, the way I was raised and shit like that, you know, it was a bunch of thugs and shit, you know, so I wasn't really raised normally, you know? Before graffiti enters your life, uh, what kind of childhood memories do you remember? Just playing it, with a lot of G.I. Joes, man, you know? Uh, that was what I was used to get into when I was a kid, man, trying to get out of the G.I. Joes I could. Uh, when doing research for you, we found out that your birthday lands on a special holiday, Halloween. Yeah, man. What was it like growing up Halloween as your birthday? Uh, it was always fun, man. When I was a kid, like, um, you know, we always throw Halloween parties. You know, we'll do the costume parties and stuff like that. Were all your toys, would you get gifts on Halloween? Were all your toys Halloween related? Um, no, it wasn't never Halloween related. It was just toys, like, you know, G.I. Joe's, like I said, man, you know, clothes. Um, and a little money from my family members, you know. 